So this video is on the problems, criticisms, and complications of implementing fiscal policy. It's in your book, that starts on page 669 and uh, goes through page 671. The first problem is the problems of, of timing, three problems of timing. The recognition lag, how do we know we're in recession so that the government can implement, so Congress and the president can work together to implement the expansionary fiscal policy. Um, people probably were being sent home at least two or three weeks ago. A lot of people were laid off at that point, uh, but Congress didn't pass the um, uh, stimulus package until late last night. It was announced today. So that's the recognition lag, is uh, uh, the idea that, you know, are, are, do we realize that we're going into that time period? Actually, a little economists and uh, government officials recognizing that we're going into the recession is the recognition lag. The administrative lag has to do with uh, the, the need for Congress to, uh, to discuss the issue, to form their uh, committees and uh, hammer out a, uh, a compromise of some sort. So there will typically be a significant lag between the time the need for fiscal action is recognized and the time action is actually taken. Um, with the passage of the bill yesterday, there we, we actually now go into the operational lag, uh, and that's the third one. And this is the time between fiscal action being taken. So Congress passed the bill yesterday. I'm sure the president signed it today. And uh, now the uh, Treasury Department has to figure out how they're going to actually check, uh, cut checks and who they're going to send them to. So they have to use past tax records to determine uh, who's going to get a check in the mail and what address to mail it to or what bank account to deposit it in and uh, the loans that they uh, arranged in here. They're going to have to actually uh, start taking applications from small businesses for those loans now. So now we're into the operational lag period. Um, and like I said in the earlier video, we probably won't get these checks that the government is talking about until May, and that's going to be, what, six weeks from now uh, or more, maybe eight weeks from now before uh, those actually come in all likelihood. So that's the operational lags. So that's one of the criticisms of uh, fiscal policy. It takes a while to get going. And actually, this is incredibly fast work uh, on uh, recognizing, uh, putting into action a plan, and trying to carry out that plan. Uh, most of the time, it takes even longer than this to, to, take these, uh, to take this kind of action. The second criticism is political considerations. Uh, your book talks about the potential for uh, political considerations to swamp economic considerations. Politicians are human, they wanna get reelected. And so uh, it's not unheard of for the politicians to all get together during uh, a time uh, of elections and uh, decide to uh, enact some kind of expansionary fiscal policy to try to get uh, more employment and incomes up and business thriving, even though it might lead to some inflation. Uh, they're, they figure they have a much better chance of getting reelected if uh, unemployment is low, uh, and inflation isn't out of control totally. Uh, so sometimes what uh, politicians do when they're in Congress uh, or uh, other elected office <clears throat> may actually be uh, contrary to what is the right thing to do in terms of economic considerations. And that is your book labels that the political business cycle that, that can occur. And then the third uh, problem is, is really a, a big issue, uh, and that is offsetting state and local finance issues. So when we go into recession, the federal government is going to try to go into deficit spending and have a stimulus package to push AD back to the right. But what's going to happen with the state of California and its budget? The state of California is going to see reduced revenues because of the recession, but the state of California has to have a balanced budget. So if re tax revenues are going down, what are they gonna do with spending in the state of California? They're gonna have to reduce spending somewhere. There's gonna have to be budget cuts, which are exactly the wrong thing to do when 
we are in a recession and we're falling back to AD1 here. Uh, the state of California might actually have to lay some workers off, uh, maybe Caltrans workers or, or other people, engineers and the like, uh, that they figure are uh, not essential workers during this uh, uh, coronavirus outbreak. So that's actually going to contribute to a worsening of the recession rather than a uh, recovery from it. So the federal government has to try to overcome the action of all the 50 state governments uh, where those state governments are actually contributing to the recession. And then in a boom time, uh, uh, state governments have all this extra money, uh, tax revenue that's, that's rolling in because people's incomes are high. And of course, state legislators are thinking this is a great time to build a new freeway or uh, go out and repair some of the infrastructure or uh, fund some new government spending programs. So often state and local, finance, lo local governments are doing exactly the wrong thing. And then the last issue is the crowding out effect. And I'm going to cut this video at this point and talk about the crowding out effect in the next video, because that's actually going to re require me uh, to, to go back and, and, and explain some new graphs to you. So I'll see you in the next video.